This is a sponsored video, which means I still have full creative control. I can say what I want, but of course there will be some bias, even if it's unconscious. So I'm gonna avoid being overly analytical and you guys can make up your own mind based off of the gameplay and the footage you see. Hello, I'm Entrilisi Man. Welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong, a sponsored Let's Play. If you want to get the game, by the way, you can. There's a link down below. It's just down on Steam. But we are currently in a little bit of an iffy situation. We are surrounded by Hong Kong police who want us for some reason. They have then gone and killed half the people we meant to meet and one of our friends. And now we're in a little bit of trouble. Well, I guess we're doing this. I have very little health. I really should use more items. I'm going to heal. I need to heal. Okay, Duncan. That really? The phone box doesn't really count as much cover. Um, uh, can you get into... Nah, that's not really good cover either. I'm going to take an aim shot. 73. 8. No. Gobbert, what have you got? SMG... Elemental fetish, right? You can summon elementals. Good to know. Poison fog. Aim. Haste. I would like me to be hasted. That would be good. I don't think you can see me. Okay. Uh, heal wound. Tempting. Can you see me from here? Oh, no. That takes two to cast. Okay. Um... Move here. Ah, it's on a mana line as well. That'll be really helpful. Shy Dwarf, what have you got? Proximity Grenade. Okay, so you're actually just a uh, shooty fighter person. Mini Grenade Launcher? Oh, I think we're going to be the best of friends. Okay, good thing you didn't shoot me. Oh god, they are coming for us. Uh, I can use my double swipe against you. Hi. Are you still alive? Oh, but you have no, you've no got no AP because I I did two attacks against you and it drained your AP. That's why you've got the zzzz. Yes, the zzzz. It's a thing. Could be a thing. Right, move to here. We can haste someone later. Shy Dwarf. Move to here. Shoot grenade. You. 14 damage. Okay, let's get a shot on target as well. Come on. Miss. Okay. Um, we need we need damage. Oh, yes. Yeah, we got the kill. Awesome. I think I have to leave you. I think we have to start running. Proper. Oh, God. There's more of them. Oh, God. This is going to be tough. They've got a Kundra and a gut. Mm, I might need to summon an elemental. Two. That's a one. Access point. You're a hacker. <gasps> Do it. I don't know what it can hack. Deactivate the drones. Drone control center remote command to override the friendly fire routine. No, I can just deactivate. Police drones power down. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hack the motorcycle to get into the police network. The drones are down. I think they are. Right, Gobbert. Move up to here. Then shoot this guy. He's not dead yet. How long is he going to be down for? I think he... He might be up next turn? That's my guess. Okay, I guess we're going to take a shot against him. Yeah, and then we will move up to... Here for now. Can we get a shot over here? 30% chance. And then I'll run out of ammo.
What about this guy down here? 52. Bleeding. Good. Good. I appreciate that. Oh. Yep. He summoned. He summoned. Oh. Yes. Missing. Good. I like this. Okay. Can you take care of this guy? 99% chance of hitting? Yeah. Okay. That's what I wanted. I actually have frag grenades. How far can I chuck them? Not quite far enough. If I get closer, I can. But uh, it takes two actions to... If I, if I haste. Right. Now I have three AP, which means I can take a move and I can chuck a grenade. I want half cover. Then I can chuck a grenade. Um, not a great deal of damage done, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. You really need to be close to be more effective. What's that chance of hitting? 56? Uh, I'll take it. And I injured them a little bit. Ah, oh, 3 AP. Good. Slow movement. Oh. They're actually playing fairly clever. Like, they know I'm a stabby stabby person. They've got my movement down. That said, I can hide behind this car. I could take the Toko. I don't really want to. Right, what's your chance of hitting anyone with a weapon? Pretty low. Even with aim is pretty low. Okay, I think you've got to move up. Right. Can you... What's this? Poison fog. Oh, not a great cast amount. Try it. Yeah, it worked. Oh, that's a great amount of damage. And then, can you... One turn to reload. Move here. And then reload. And I, I really want to, like, do a, like, a keep my head down move. But there isn't one. So I'm just going to move to here, which is slightly further away from the elemental. Oh, they shot the... They must have lo they lost control of the elemental. They lost control of the elemental, and that's why it's now fighting against them. Yes. Okay, I don't really want to go into the poison fog. Yep, you're dead. Um, move up. Not really. Okay, I'm just going to reload. Come here. What's your chance? 20. That's not good enough, especially if you're going to hit me by mistake. I took three damage, but that was fine. That was fine. And I'm going to stay in cover here, because we'll need to kill the elemental. And I'm going to just enter. I've still got two AP. That, that haste is really, really good. I love haste. Okay, I'm not hasted anymore, which means... Can you cast haste again? You can. How much AP you got left? Not a lot. So I'm going to move next to you. And then I'm going to use my double stabby move. Double stab! Boom! Okay, let's, let's leg it. Just don't go in the poison cloud by mistake. That would be bad. Oh, where did that come from? Who's shooting at me? Oh, ah, the sniper. Every time I'm not in cover, I take damage from a sniper. Okay. That counts as cover there. Right. 
Right, who else? There we go. Move you up. And turn. Uh oh. Ow! Oh god. Oh god. Escape! Escape! You can make it. I believe in you. I could heal you to make sure you can escape. Yeah, let's do it. All or nothing. Yep, that was worthwhile. That was worthwhile. Okay, go. Go. Oh, we could have fought our way out of there. We could have fought our way out of there. Whew. The rat shaman guides you through the doorway in the street through an eternity of whining alleys, damp sub-basements, and empty buildings. Stumbling through the refuse and filth, you make your way into the sewer below Victoria Harbor. It reeks down here, but it's quiet. Goblet stops, sniffs, and squints her eyes with the back of her wrist. Her rat squeaks softly in the folds of her clothing. The dwarf watches her silently for a moment, then moves closer and gently takes her hand. In the dim light of the sewer, you can see they're nearly the same age, no more than twenty. Twenty-one, tops. What were their names? That's not the question to ask right now. Need a rest? No, if they can keep moving, they can keep moving. We gotta keep moving, get more distance from the cops. Goblet looks back the way you came. I think we've shaken them. She sniffs the air. Yeah, we're clear. We begins pacing his boots splashing the sewer water, creating echoes down the tunnel. You can feel the tension coming off him in waves. Also, the excrement in the sewer water. This is bullshit. I'm done messing around now. It's the sewers. I'm done running from cops. He pokes his thumb at his chest and spits his anger. For fuck's sake, I am a cop. We noticed. There's a Lone Star Sergeant dead back there. Damn it, she was... We starts to choke up. He struggles against it, fighting to maintain control, but he needs a minute to recover. He finally manages to pull it together, but he's raw. When he speaks again, his voice is seething and hoarse. I don't know what the hell's going on with the Hong Kong cops, but I'm calling in some Lone Star backup from him. I'm gonna get some of my own people down here. Then we're gonna find Raymond and figure out what the hell's going on. Whatever you say, you big guy. You're fine with that. She looks over her friend. They both nod. Is and I are out of here. Best of luck finding your friend. You people died in a hail snap fire, you're not gonna do anything about it? Yeah, I'll go with that. Of course we're gonna do something about it. In fact, we're gonna do two things. Run and hide. Look, we got you to safety, but now you're done with this shit. We don't need it. we don't need ten to die before you. Who isn't listening, you can see on his face that he's already written the orc girl off. He pulls his security grade PDA from his holster by his left leg, raises it and starts tapping the buttons with a meaty finger. The Lone Star logo on the back of the device looks shiny and official. He stops confused and taps it again. Harder. The red flashing image on the PDA reflects his goggles. What the hell? I'm locked out of the network. My law enforcement status has been revoked. I don't believe it. They're saying there's an APB out on us, Alicia. You and me both. I figured as much. They knew our names on the loudspeaker. Oh, they heard our names on the loudspeaker. They knew our names. Fucking hell. This just keeps getting worse. He leans forward as he punches the wall, his knuckles rasping against it softly, a pantomime of barely constrained rage. Suddenly he turns and swings his PDA at the far wall. It hits hard, bounces back, and clatters to the ground at its feet. He looks down at it, spent. The orc mouths an okay to herself, eyebrows raised. And on that note, it's time for us to say goodbye. Come on, it's Obel, let's... She's cut off by a sudden smashing noise as her friend's boot comes crashing down on the PDA at Wu's feet. Dwarf looks down at work, unsatisfied, and bring a boot down again and again till there's nothing left but a snarl of plastic housing, broken glass, and circuit board. She looks up at Wu, her chest heaving, and points at the pile of scrap she's created. Police issue. They can trace you through that. She looks at you, hand out. Yours too. It's on the network. Her voice, I do not know where her voice comes from. I need to settle on something. Maybe we should just decide now that she's going to be Russian and just move on with that, right? We're going to move on with that. She's the one in the, the first group that I didn't know her voice for, and I guessed. <sighs> Smash it yourself, or we bury our own. 
You crush your PDA to shards on your foot while Esver looks on blankly. Good. She looks over at Gobbet, sighs, and reaches into her jacket pocket, filling out two new PDAs. She hands them to you and Duncan. Bonus, I suppose. I'm glad, I suppose, the least we can do. After you help back there. Thanks. You people always keep supply burners in your pocket? That's a stupid question. Of course they do. I'm just going to say thanks. Now what? We go our separate ways. Right is... She's not listening. She stares open mouthed at her own PDA. It's bluish glow illuminating her horrified expression. Got it. We gotta go. Now. It's monotone but emphatic. She holds up her own PDA to show her friend. They're after us too. Oh, sorry. Dar. They're after us too. The screen displays a local newscast. You stare down in the upper left corner of the screen. And in breaking news, just under an hour ago, Hong Kong Port Authorities were involved in a firefight with members of a terrorist cell linked to the mainland city-state of Henan. The battle left three terrorists dead, along with an unconfirmed number of Hong Kong police officers. Your image winks out, replaced by a scowling image of Brian Wu, uh, Duncan Wu, a mugshot of a long time ago before Raymond. Our news sources report that Seattle natives Duncan Wu and Alicia Interium, along with the Hong Kong-based accomplices, are still at large. They are well-armed and should be considered extremely dangerous. Low-res photographs of Gobbert and Iso uh, Isobel pop up on the screen, replacing Duncan Wu. Oh, shit. Kuntal, uh, Kowloon officials report that the terror cell, known as the White Star, maintains ties to the state of Henan and is purported to be receiving weapons and state funding from anti-corporate groups in the UCAS city-state of Seattle. Part authorities are standing on this higher alert, and the Hong Kong Police Police Force Special uh, uh, the Hong Kong Police Force's Special Duties Unit has been, you really need to get a shorter acronym has been engaged to deal with the threat. We go live now to inspect a crate and the Special Duties Unit who will be making a statement. Behind the Newcastle Vidal window appears at the location of the firefight in the harbour. Camera pans around to a Chief Inspector Crate. She is surrounded by a swarm of news reporters, but seems unfazed by the tension. She speaks with supreme confidence. We have yet to ascertain the motives for tonight's attack, but it's clearly a well-planned and coordinated effort. Uh, crate sounds smooth, more like a corporate mouthpiece than a cop. We've already issued an all-points bulletin, along with a kill or capture order for the four remaining terrorists, and I've instructed the special duties unit to make a manhunt uh, a ma to make this manhunt a top priority. She looks directly into the camera. If you should see one or more of these individuals, do not attempt to engage them. Instead, tap the Hong Kong Police Force flash code into the bottom of the screen. If you are on an authorized network and take a picture, our systems will ultimately identify them in your data stream. The deck switches off the new cast and clips the PDA back to a belt. For a moment, there's no sound but the roar of sewer water surging on the pipes. Gold bends over, hands on her knees, sucking wind. Her rat's scarf for a new position. I thought we were fucked before. But now, we are well and truly fucked. Doesn't look good, does it? Not. At. All. They've leveled us terrorists. There's an all-points bullet out on us. I've heard this kind of announcement before. I know what comes with it. Doesn't matter where we have to do this. Whatever city state, they're gonna hunt us down. It's open season. And the two of you will be hunted down right along with us. We can go deep. Hit the mainland for a while until we can figure this out. Find a hole to crawl into. You've gotta get them off the grid too. Way out. Way off. Hey, Lone Star. You got a security license, right? That means you got a sin too. And, and her, her accent. Screw it. I'm just giving up. She has... She's just got... Her accent changes all the time. It's she's brain damaged from all the hacking. Of course, I'm a sin. Won't be able to get paid otherwise. Only criminals and lowlifes go sinless. There we go. There's the sin explanation I did last time. Eh. That means you can be traced. Both of you. You get spotted by a drone or security camera. Get ID'd by a retinal scanner. Or try and use your credits to the passport. The HKPF will just. will know just where to find you. I know how system identification number works, Runner. Ah, uh, if I had a catch Shadow Runner, we're gonna have to burn our sins if we're gonna survive this. Just leave her alone, Duncan. We're all in this together. We're just as good as you, me and Ez. We're listed as your accomplices. We can't afford to get caught. You'll lead us and um, write to us one way or another. DNA samples, things we've told you, astro residue, I don't know, card stuff. We need to get your sins burned. Deleting from the record books. All of them. I had voice, just screw it. All of them? Whoa, wait a minute, you just want us to raise our identities? 
Beyond the fact that's insane. Will that even work? If we burn our sins, go off grid like that, will they just redouble their efforts to find us? Imagine playing a game of hide and seek with a siren strapped to your head. Would you rather than hide with the siren or without the siren conspicuously absent? Let's get on with it. What do we have to do? We gotta ask for help. There's one person we know who has the kind of pull it takes to burn a sin and hide us from the cops. Kindly Chang. Who's Kindly Chang? Some sort of shadow decker? Let me guess. Underworld hard ass? Sounds like a restaurant. I'm gonna go with Underworld hard ass. Like a walnut. She's what's known as the Yellow Sandal. Kind of a middle manager for the Yellow Lotus Syndicate. Their triad. Kindly Cheng controls all the illegal activity in the neighborhood. Smuggling, bootlegging, and counterfeiting. Sounds like my kind of scum. This is no joke. Kindly Chang rolls a good sized portion of Colin's underworld. She has soldiers, resources, she's smart. But she is not to be underestimated. Taking favors from women like Kindly Chen is a good way to get yourself indentured servitude. You don't owe favors to women like that. Ideally, you don't want to deal with her at all. That was Nightjar's job. You mean you work with her? What did we just tell you? She's got fingers in everything, including brokering shadowlands for cops. Kindly Chen is our fixer. Just stay on her good side and have nothing to worry about. Let's just get down here before one of you tips the APB and brings the hell down upon us. Okay, uh, I guess we'll end it there. Um, we're going to end the, the short uh, Let's Play right there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, remember to like, subscribe, etc. And, you know, if you want to get the game, then you can. There is a link down below. But until whatever. I was going to say next time, but I, I just said there wouldn't be a next time. Um, yeah. I hope Alicia does well without me. To be honest, without me, she's nothing. Like They're, they're all dead. But thank you very much for watching, and stay shiny.